Hey everyone, Scott J. Way from Crucible Custom Props, Norfolk's Lab, and all the RPF and all the other forums. This is another personal project. Uh, I had a couple of the, our North Texas prop parties coming up real soon, and um, I had some downtime waiting for some parts to come in. Well, there was an LED crisis, and uh, Luxion was moving, and their lead times were really, really long. So I tried another supplier and just got stuck waiting in the mail. So I decided to use that time to uh, also make some of my own props. And these have been sitting on a shelf as cameras, different cameras, for oh, a year or two, um, slowly gathering the parts and finally it came time to just, just to start putting it together. So these are, if you guys don't know, this is Luke Skywalker's macro binoculars from Star Wars. The first movie was called Star Wars before it was called A New Hope. Um, um, this is it. This is them. This is the only thing I will tell you guys is that when I look at this is the this is the seagull. Um, let me first let me reverse here. Um, this is made up of a bunch of different cameras, and I'll go through each one to tell you guys how to make it if you want to really find these things. Um, <laughs> be prepared to pay and hunt and wait and be frustrated trying to find these parts um but it's really cool it's probably one of my favorite props now uh having done it and holding it uh so start off we have a calamar 660 you need one calamar 660 and um or two because usually they come with this caligar 80 millimeter f 2.8 lens so I got had to get two cameras to get two lenses. You also need two knobs from the Calamar. You need the viewing box from the Calamar. The Trent, the uh, the little this is where the uh, thing mounts. This is the transition on the transition box. This is where the little mount is. Um, this transition box. I don't think anybody has found the real part if it was a real part, but this is this is one from Gosh, I don't remember where I got it. It's on the RPF someplace. I can't remember who made it. So if anybody remembers, please uh, add it in the comments and I'll uh, annotate it later. But uh, yeah, so definitely help me out if you guys know, if you guys remember. I'll try and look it up, but I don't know. So anyway, you need the, the Calamar 660 uh, parts for the lenses, the two knobs, the viewer, and the uh, transition uh, mount part right here, okay? Then you have a UMIG Servomatic. That is the main body of the camera. It's an eight millimeter camera. Um, then you have the Seagull camera, which you get these knobs from and this knob from now let me uh the umig knob also comes here there's a mystery wedge here and a mystery greebly here which looks to me like a um just drew a blank it looks to me like a um circuit breaker switch uh but someone uh i think it's trooper trooper on the rpf i believe made this Greebly, and it's really, really, really close to what the actual part looks like on the one photo that everybody has of it. Um, but back to the seagull knob. Everybody's been using this seagull knob for a long time, and in building this, finally, I was just looking at the details. Oh, and you need another camera. Um, you need a Bell and Howell uh, 220, I believe, to get this knob right here, because this 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 knob is made up of two knobs actually. So anyway, this seagull knob, uh, people have been using this seagull knob for a long time. But when I look at the look at, at the screen captures from Harmy's high def um, despecialized edition, it looks like a different knob. So I think I found the correct knob. And as soon as it comes in, I'm going to confirm that and then um, put it on there and show you guys and share my opinions on that. Um, now the original prop. The, com the lenses were completely painted this gray color. I like I like the lettering and the wor wording, so mine isn't going to be completely screen accurate. Um, I did paint, I did color match the um, 
these silver focus, the aperture rings here. Um, so that kind of gives that, a, that look of it being painted. But other than that, um, that's about it. The only thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add an EL sheet with the Bantha inside the viewer box. So when you're looking inside it, you can use the switch to turn it on and see what looks on. And that's it. So this is it. Got the uh, belt clip riveted in. It's really fun. This is a really fun prop to make and it's just so super cool. And you can put electronics in here if you want. Um, that's where my EL battery box is going to go. Mine, my camera came with film inside, so if I can pop this open, uh, there's some film inside it still. So it's a really, really cool prop. So anyway, guys, I thought you guys might like to see that. The Luke Skywalker macro binoculars. Pretty, pretty rad. Bye-bye.